Hello my friends and welcome back again to Cat on a Sofa and today we shall be unboxing Bullet Train. Before we continue, please if you enjoy the video consider liking and subscribing, it really helps me out. And I'm going to open this and we will get straight to it. And there is a convenient place to open this. Don't worry, we'll fast forward through this, you'll be able to see it but you won't be able to hear it. And um, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this. Um, that is not a good way to um, to give us art cards but anyway so there is that and uh if you want to see the j card real quick there it is right so i'll get to the art cards in a bit um let's just check the uh the steel book it has a dent oh that's unfortunate um moving on right let's just show you the front and the side um, sorry the front and the back and the spine and the um the internal artwork and the discs are some, the discs have some really really pretty artwork on them so yeah um let's just give you a better shot of that actually there you go so yeah that's really nice and the internal art's really cool um too so yeah so having shown you the steel book let's um discuss it now i know this um is a matte finish steel book I knew that already going in, but as far as matte steel book, uh, as as far as matte finished steel books go, it's really really nice. Like it, it's surprisingly incredibly nice. The colours are really vibrant. Um, I I I actually, I think if it had some spot glossing, yes, it would improve it. But as I've, I've said before, not everything needs to be glossed or spot glossed it's it's nice but as far as matte finish steel books go it's incredibly pretty like it everything it, it's like um i can't even it's nicer than thor one by a lot it's really really quite nice and i don't have anything bad to say about it if the if like the 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 title and maybe brad pitt and the weapons were spot glossed yeah i think it would personally i think it would improve it but it's not in any way bad for for a mat. I, I guess now that I'm qualifying it, that says a lot, doesn't it? It's not. It, it's good for a matte steel book. But you know, if I put it side by side with, um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess yeah. Like you, you know, you can see that how how much more um, a, a glossy steel book pops, but. Does it look bad next to it? No, I don't think it personally does. I think it's really, really nice. I, I, I honestly can't complain about that. So yeah, it's, it's. I, I haven't a problem. It's nice. It's really nice, actually. Um, it's better than I expected. Uh, and I was expecting it to be decent from from the photos that the people had taken. It looked good. Uh, and I know that some people have a, a massive um hatred for matte steel books and myself um partly um you know but whatever it it i it's nice enough it, it, it is actually very nice um so yeah let's have a look at the art cards we have ladybug hornet lemon mama 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 i don't know why that's so funny prince sun tangerine white death and wolf and yeah they're, they're um they're decent enough they're like postcard quality they're, they're pretty you know they're decent and yeah um i think it costs like two pound more i can't really um complain uh as for the film i am a huge 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 fan of 87 north uh especially david leach um, i mean i'd say chad stahelski is definitely the best of um the directors but I, uh, I, I really enjoy Eighty Seven North Productions. They make some of my absolute favourite films. I, uh, I love the John Wick films. I love Atomic Blonde. I love Nobody. Um, Kate was good. I've only seen it twice. Uh, I really, really wish they would do a physical release for Kate. And The Day Shift. Uh, I'd need to watch that again. But I enjoyed that too. Bullet Train, um, I know they've got the ballerina. There's a um, Christmas one coming out called Violent Night, which looks um, really, really odd, um, but but really good. 
And I think that Chad Stahelski will be directing a Highlander remake with um, Henry Cavill. I don't know if Henry Cavill's going to be um, doing the Conor McLeod role or, or the Kurgan, assuming there is a Kurgan. Uh, but that would be really, really good too. Um, but yeah, this film, I, I, it seems from what I've seen in the last few days to be a little bit divisive uh, and polarizing. I personally really enjoyed it and I've been really looking forward to watching it again. Uh, I haven't watched it digitally as I knew that this was, um, I, I know they didn't have a date on Savage for a while, but they were saying October. So I held off on watching it again because I knew this was coming and yeah, we have to justify this incredibly expensive hobby some way. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Do these art cards fit inside? It seemed like an odd choice to put them outside. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't like the way it scrunches up the, um, yeah, it doesn't quite fit, does it? Ooh, I mean, they do fit only just, yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. And, um, yeah, that's, that's a really nice steelbook for a really fun movie. And I think that's about all I have to say about that one too, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Or please consider liking and subscribing. And I've been speed talking now for about 15 minutes. And, um, I'm starting to lose my voice just a little bit. So I'm going to call it there. And I shall see you next time.